Welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAV and MyLC. And of course, today we're back at Southeastern Medical Equipment Company, and I have with me one of the owners here, Lindy Claiborne. It's so great to see you again here Thank on the Southern you. Scene. Thank you. It's great to see you too. Natalie. You know, it wasn't long ago that we came in and brought our cameras into Southeastern uh, Medical Equipment Company to find out what you're all about here. But for some of our viewers who may have missed out on that, kind of give us an overview about what the company is all about. Southeastern Medical Equipment Company, we're known as a company with a heart. We are a locally owned company. We're here in Savannah. We're in the Medical Arts Shopping Center. We carry respiratory products, which include apnea monitors, oxygen, CPAPs. We also have wheelchairs, hospital beds, walkers, canes, crutches, nebulizers, billy blankets. We have everything that you need to make your um, to make your life easier and more comfortable. There's so many things that can make your life easier and you right. guys take care of that. We do and all you have to do just call us from your doctor's office bring your prescription over we'll be happy to fill it or if your doctor calls us we can deliver it to your house we have same-day service we are on call 24 7 if you ever need anything if you have any questions about your equipment you can call us any time of the day or night I mean you actually walk folks through the process and you train them as well absolutely we have fully trained staff we have a respiratory therapist full-time at Southeastern Medical Equipment um, our staff is extremely knowledgeable years and years of medical experience our staff will help you find the right product when your doctor sends over the order we explain it fully to you we train you again training you have to know how to use the product because it, it's useless if you don't know how to how to use the product Lindy let me ask you this what if there's a specific piece of equipment that someone has heard about um, and or maybe that you know they call in that you don't have it um, what happens then we will get on the phone. We'll order it immediately for you. Okay, what are we going to be doing today? Because I know you are going to be educating us a bit uh, on the southern scene as we progress forward, you know, with, uh, with this particular topic. So what are we going to be doing today? Today we are going to be talking about CPAP how to use it, what it's for, how to use your machine, how to care for your machine, and how using a CPAP will save your life. Um, my respiratory therapist is going to demonstrate the product. So you're here because you need to get some really good sleep. Yes. So I'm gonna go over a few symptoms that I'm betting you have that are related to um, sleep disorders, obstructive sleep apnea. Are you snoring? Have you heard that you snore at night? <laughs> of course, I actually, all the time, all my life. Have you, are you daytime sleepiness? You have you suffer from a lot of daytime sleepiness? Like yes. you feel like you could just go to sleep anytime? Yes. And how is your short term memory? Um, it's pretty off. Well. Yeah. All of these things and uh, hypertension, if you have some blood pressure problems, I think you do. Um, yes, it's a little high. All of this is a result of obstructive sleep apnea, which basically means people, I have it as well. And what that means is there's a something that's obstructing our airways in the back of our throats. It can be a little fatty tissue, it can be your adenoids, it can be your uvula. In my case, my tongue rolls back. So whatever the reason is, it's keeping us from getting oxygen from the air when we're sleeping. So let's say we sleep six, seven hours a night. Six and seven hours a night with very little oxygen is gonna take a toll on your brain yes. and your heart and it's gonna affect everything. So what this machine's gonna do it's called a CPAP, which stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. It's going to literally blow air down your airways to keep them inflated like a balloon. Okay. Now, when you have air blowing down your airways all night long, it can dry your throat out. So this whole side is your humidifier. This okay. is going to provide you with a little bit of moisture if you need it. This is your water chamber, and you're going to put distilled water in here only. You're going to pour it into the top and go a little bit less than that line. If you go up to that line, it's not necessary because it can rain out into your tubing. All right, on this side, you see a window with four different blocks or modes, as I like to call them. You see where therapy's highlighted? Yes. Leave it there. If you turn this knob, it's gonna put you into a different mode. Once the machine is on, now this knob controls your humidifier. These numbers are how much humidity you want from your humidifier. Okay. Do not get these numbers confused with your pressure. You can, only I can change your pressure. Zero is off. One is the least humidity, five being the most. All right, I'm gonna try you on some masks. We have a couple of different ones. We have the full face, which covers your nose and your mouth. And this is called Namara. And we're just gonna put this over you like this. Put 
pop this little puppy in on the side. Sorry, am I hurting you? Okay, now you wanna, you don't want it so tight that it's gonna hurt your face, but you do want it tight enough where it's not gonna leak. Oh, wow, now that was an incredible demonstration and so easy to use. Yes, it is. Very, very easy to use. I mean, Lindy, why is this piece of equipment so important? Because it will save your life. That's just the bottom line. Well, thanks, Lindy, again, once again, for joining us on the Southern Scene. It's Thank always you. great to see you, and you educate us so well. We love bringing our cameras in. Thank you, Natalie. Great to see you, too. If you'd like more information on the CPAP machine or Southeastern Medical Equipment Company, all you have to do is go to the website you see on the screen. You can also find them on Facebook. And just follow the information you see right there on your screen. You can also give us a call here at the station. Go to our Facebook page, The Southern Scene, or find us on our website, WSAV.com. We'll make sure we put you in contact with them. Don't go away. We'll be back with more of The Southern Scene right after this. Stay with us.